Hey everybody, Chris here with High Seas Cruising, back from Adventure of the Seas on Royal Caribbean, and back with the cruise news for you guys. Walked into a really good story last night, and that is Carnival Cruise Lines. Well, they've made three updates to their health and safety protocols that if you have an upcoming Carnival Cruise, you're going to want to know about. All right, so over on Carnival Cruise Line's website, under their health and safety protocols, you, you can see these changes that were made February the 18th, so they were just made yesterday. And we're going to start with the first change right here, and that is unvaccinated guest exemptions to vaccination standards. Okay, important note, children under five are not required to apply for a vaccine exemption effective with sailings as of March the 1st. All right, so you know on Carnival Cruise Lines, if you are unvaccinated, you had to apply for a, an exemption in order to sail and see if that exemption was approved. So now children that are under the age of five that are not eligible to receive a vaccine no longer will have to apply for that exemption effective March the 1st. Now, if you are eligible to receive the vaccine and you are not fully vaccinated, you will still have to apply for the exemption. This only is for children under the age of five. Now, the second change Carnival has made, and that's going to be to their testing requirements. Now, no, Carnival is not dropping testing requirements, but for some, it is going to make the testing requirements a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So the CDC requires pre-cruise testing for vaccinated guests ages two and older to be taken within two days prior to the sailing date. Now, important note, effective March the 1st, guests who are up to date with their vaccines, i.e. have received a booster shot if eligible, may take their test within three days prior to sailing. All right, so if you're fully vaccinated and you have your booster shots, instead of only having two days to take your test prior to sailing, you can now go back to three days effective March the 1st. Like I said, though, you have to be fully vaccinated and you have to have received your booster shot in order to qualify for the three-day testing. But if you meet those qualifications, it at least gives you more time, an extra day, in order to get your testing done. And finally, the last one, and the one that I know a lot of people want, a lot of people have been asking for, a lot of people have hoped it was coming. Well, it looks like it is finally here. So let's take a look at this one. Effective with sailings departing March the 1st. Masks are recommended on board, but not required. However, masks may be required in certain venues and events. Please pay close attention to onboard signage. So we saw Norwegian do it. Royal, celebrity, people wanted to know when Carnival was going to do it. Well, now I have your answer. Effective March the 1st. Masks will go from required to only to recommend it. However, there may still be certain events and venues you will have to wear them. So you'll still have to have it because you still have to wear it in the embarkation terminal, when you disembark, ground transportation, and some of the ports of call you could visit may also have a mask requirement that will still be in place. But at least when you are on board the ship, the majority of the time, a mask will not be required. And those are the changes that Carnival Cruise Lines has made to their upcoming cruises. Like I said, effective March the 1st, so that sailings that depart March 1st or later that these new rules will go into place for. Now, I personally am really excited about this. Our next cruise is on March the 5th on board the Carnival Vista for Carnival's 50th celebration party. So, looks like we're going to be able to go and sail and not have so many masking requirements at least, and we'll have an extra day to take our test. Of course, we don't travel with anybody under the age of five, but hey, we get two out of the three, so that is good news, at least as far as I'm concerned. And hopefully, it's good news for y'all as well. All right, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor, hit that like button. Have yourself a great day, and like always, we will see you out on the high seas.